you don't sleep at night. Uh, I was tired, couldn't do things that I wanted to do anymore. Um, I just in pain all the time. Pain in your knees or hips, many Canadians can't seem to escape it. And for some, the desperation is driving them to try something faster and simpler than surgery. Stem cell injections offered in clinics across the country. But do they work and are they safe? Well, Kelly Crow has been investigating the surge in these private stem cell clinics. And uh, as I say, a lot of people here driven by desperation. Right, and they're paying thousands of dollars for this unproven treatment where tissue is sucked out of their fat or bone marrow and it's injected back into their aching joints. The theory is that there are stem cells in the bone marrow and the fat tissue and those stem cells have some sort of healing capacity. But we asked a prominent Canadian stem cell scientist for his opinion, Dr. Duncan Stewart, and here's what he had to say. If a patient called me up to say that uh, they are thinking of going to get this kind of therapy from a practitioner offering it like this for, uh, for a fee, I would say that, uh, that I don't think that's wise. Uh, I don't think they know they're going to get any benefit. I think they're taking a potential risk. And, and all of these therapies should be offered within the context of a properly designed clinical trial. Still, lots of Canadians are going for it. We took a hidden camera into a few private clinics to see how stem cell procedures are being offered to patients. Okay, if you got a few, oh, I have another The patient we followed has a painful knee. She went online to a Toronto stem cell clinic and filled out a form. Within days, she had an appointment with an orthopedic surgeon who told her she had arthritis. So you have arthritis in your knee, which means what? which means that you have lost some cartilage. So. He said stem cell injections could help. He says it works most of the time. Yeah, so how effective is it? about 80% of people. More, many more people than not are helped by it. My name. At a different clinic, this family doctor also does stem cell injections. And she tells our patient that the injections are 100% effective. So I'm going to have anybody not get significantly better. But stem cell experts say those reports of benefit are not supported by good scientific evidence. We really don't know uh, whether these work and we really don't know how safe this approach is. There's so much to talk about here, but let's focus for a moment on stem cells. We hear about them. They seem so magical. What are they? Well, stem cells are special cells that can develop into different types of cells. No other cell can do that. And ever since they were first discovered in the early 1960s, scientists have been studying whether they could be used to regenerate bone or tissue or even hearts or other organs. So big debate here about the benefits of this. What about the risks? Right, well, there's a risk of infection from the injections. And in the US, three people have gone blind after having stem cell injections into their eyes to treat macular degeneration. If stem cells do what scientists think they might, and that's trigger the growth of new tissue, there's also a theoretical risk that it could cause the growth of unwanted tissue and even cancerous tumors. Dr. Duncan Stewart is conducting clinical trials, and when he signs up volunteers, he has to tell them about that risk. If you read the kind of consent forms that we put together for our trials, you'll, you'll see all this language. It's kind of scary because there's a theoretical risk that there could be tumors that form. Um, there's a theoretical risk you could get blood vessels forming where you don't want them to form, for instance, the back of the eye or other places. So all these things could happen. So it's interesting, right? We heard those two people earlier talk about, what, 80% success, 100% success. But there's a lot of research still to be done here. Right. I mean, scientists just don't know right now whether injecting stem cells into the body is an effective way to treat injury. The whole concept is still being tested in clinical trials, and that means so far there's no good evidence that it works or that what the patients are even experiencing is anything more than just a placebo effect. But we discovered that patients are being told that these treatments work much of the time and that different doctors have a different idea what's going on in the body. Let's go back to our hidden camera. Or well, you can have an injection of stem cells. So right. take, a, take a sample. Here, the orthopedic surgeon tells our patient that the cells do not regenerate tissue, just that they help with pain. Now, it really just acts as a, an anti-inflammatory. It takes away the pain. Okay. It won't regrow cartilage in your neck. The stem cell won't no. grow cartilage. No. Okay. These, so, are, these are treatments for pain. But the family doctor says the stem cell injections do cause new cartilage to grow. If it's more like mild, moderate, or severe arthritis, then you know stem cells may be a better right. option because that's regenerative to try and get the cartilage back.
some people do claim to get a benefit. Adele Engel spent about $5,000 for injections to treat osteoarthritis in both knees. It's the mother load of all pain when they <laughs> aspirate the, um, the stem cells out of your hip. She's had it done twice. Really what I have found is the first procedure, I felt I got significant improvement. The second procedure where we used the fat tissue, the adipose tissue, it just didn't work as well for me. Rick McGregor paid almost $2,000 for stem cell injections in his knee. I think they were using a small rubber hammer to pound the, the needle into your bone. And then when they start sucking it out, it hurts. The injections didn't work, so he went for knee replacement surgery instead. They suggested at the stem cell clinic that I should try another treatment first but I'd already put out the $1,700 with no results and I wasn't sure I was ready to put out the more money. So the patients have two different stories. The doctors obviously at odds on this. So what about Health Canada? Okay, well, Health Canada in an email said exactly this. Health Canada approval is required before any cell therapy can be legally used on human patients. So far, we know Health Canada has sent letters to six clinics doing stem cell injections, just asking for information. And we also know that there are more than six uh, clinics across Canada doing the procedures. So far, none of them have been told to stop doing the injections. And so what should we be looking for next? Well, there's a risk that more clinics will start offering the procedure, um, and uh, it might not always be doctors and surgeons doing them, possibly naturopaths, chiropractors, and other types of practitioners could start offering them too. In the U.S., the FDA has started to crack down, but so far Health Canada has not indicated what, if any, regulatory action it's going to take. All right. Thanks, Kelly. Thank you.